In this clip, we're going to show you how to calculate flow rate. The first step to calculating flow rate is getting the data. What you want to do is first find a good spot in the stream where the water flows straight and measure out 10 meters and mark the distance with flags. Once you have found a good spot, take an apple and place it at the first flag upstream and time how long it takes for the apple to float from the first flag to the second flag. You want to do this at least twice so you can find an average time of how long it took the apple to go the full 10 meters. You really want to try to be as accurate as possible with your readings. You will use this data later to calculate stream flow. After you find how long it takes for the apple to float 10 meters, use a measuring tape and a meter stick to get depth readings every 30 centimeters starting on one bank of the stream to the other bank. Make sure you always take your measurements from the surface of the water to the bottom of the stream. A common mistake that people make when taking their measurements is that they start from the measuring tape instead of the surface of the water. Using a program called Logger Pro, you can put in your depth data and it will give you a two-dimensional model of the shape of the bottom of the stream. You can use this model to calculate the area of the shape of the stream. What you need to do is open a new file in Logger Pro. Double click the data label and get a set options window. From here, you can change the name of your graph. And then click OK. Double click the x-axis label and the manual column options window should open for the x-axis. From here, you can change the label of the x-axis to width of stream and change the units to centimeters. Then, click Done. Double click the Y axis label and the manual column label options window should open for the Y axis. From here, you can change the label of the Y axis to Depth, and then change the units to Centimeters. Then, click Done. Now you can begin entering data for the stream width. After the stream width data has been entered, you can put in your depth data. Remember to put in negative values to represent the depth because the zero point is the surface of the water. So now you have the shape of the stream under the surface of the water and by clicking the integral it will give you the area under the curve. Now that you have found the area of the stream, 
you can now find the total volume of the area you use to calculate flow rate and find your volume rate. First, take the area calculated by Logger Pro and convert the number from this scientific notation to the standard form. Then you need to convert the area from square centimeters to square meters by dividing by 10,000 square centimeters by square meters. Next, you need to find your average flow rate and convert it to meters per second. You need to take the two or three trials you did and find the average time it took for the apple to travel to 10 meters. Then, you divide your distance by your average time to get your flow rate in meters per second. Finally, you can find the volume rate by multiplying your area and your flow rate. In conclusion, to calculate stream flow, you need to measure a distance of the stream, float an apple, and time how long it takes to travel the distance, get depth readings of a cross-section, put your cross-section data in Logger Pro, get the area, and do the math. And that's how it's done.